But I know you talk about, and this is a big part of what we try to do with our medical clinic and everything we do is detoxification. It was one of your five, you know, big uh, pieces there in Super Life, your first book. So talk about how you detoxify in such a toxic world. And, and like you said, even things like EMFs and 5G, these totally unseen toxins, no one seems to talk about, but of course impact us. What are you doing to really detoxify and limit toxicity? Yeah. I I mean, that's the first thing you limit your exposure, right? So, so the foods you're eating, that's clearly the, 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 the filtration of, of water, you know, because there's, there's just a, uh, a really huge amount of uh, chemicals from our world that are now in our tap water. Mm-hmm. And um, so, you know, creating your world and then again, your home, you know, there there's fire retardants showing up in TV sets, uh, couches and pillows and uh, mattresses uh, in, in, in a baby clothing. It, it's just so astonishing. Mm-hmm. So you have to, Unfortunately, you got to do some work because, because again, the first, the first layer is realizing that no one has your best interest other than you. So as much as we want to trust even our doctors, you still have to use discernment of your own common sense and ask questions and everything else. I too, I have nothing against our medical system. It's freaking amazing, but we've misidentified it as a, you know a health service mm-hmm. it's it's not for long term health it's for yeah. you know i cut my leg uh, last year with a chainsaw i'm going right to the doctor right oh, yeah. i'm not you know it's like <laughs> you're not putting herbs on that and just sitting no, around right <laughs> i need i need 20 stitches like yeah. Let, yeah. let's do this right right so um uh so i forget where your uh where the question was but um uh, yeah. So anyway, no, no. I, I mean, listen. I think the the point is that we we have all these toxins in the world. We want to limit them any way possible, yeah. right? And then we want to try and get them out. Is there anything you're doing? I mean, listen. Oh, yeah. We we came together basically. I, I knew through Dr. Robbie Besner at the, his Therasage. I use the infrared sauna a lot. Yeah. Sweat out toxins, right? Get it out of the tissue. What are the other ways? Of course, I think like water, like, but what are the ways you're detoxing, not just limiting toxin exposure? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of great things. I got great practitioners that I reach out. I do, you know, doing blood panels, doing testing, doing yeah. your T counts, getting, get, getting what the diagnostic things that anyone can do. You want to see what's going on in your body and get it from multiple directions. And so therefore you have, you have clear evidence going, okay, well, you're, you're, getting some exposure here and you're getting some exposure there, you know? So uh, like, for example, one of the cornerstones that I, that I just recently went back to is I just did a colon cleanse. I just mm-hmm. finished one like that one. If, if your colon is processing and moving and clearing itself out, um, I mean, think about it like that in your, uh, your urea, uh, your bladder. I mean, that's, those are the ways your body's releasing plus your skin, like you said. So getting out, uh, I sweat every day. Uh, I've been, uh, cold plunging and cold showering for 15 years. Um, you know, I like also the way back in the day, uh, Dr. Schultz, um, he would, we would do, uh, hot and cold. So you'd get this kind of pumping effect of the body in the shower. Lymphatic drainage, so, right? Yeah. Yes. And it's like unbelievable. Yeah. It's different mm-hmm. than just sitting in a sauna or going in a cold plunge. Um, these kinds of things, plus obviously, uh, uh on a daily basis, just clearing the mind, mm. you know, not flipping on the 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 phones and the TVs straight away and do that first work of silence and meditation and journaling and yeah. more than ever man like yeah. more than ever because there's so much input mm-hmm. Too uh, much. and and people are telling us what to do and think and be and all of that stuff we need to be informed from the inside out 
Um, so yeah, so I'm a big fan. I, I, uh, um, I intermittent fast. It was funny how that's the term now, but I was fasting <laughs> for 20 years. I used to just do all fruit before noon and all of that stuff. I used to fast every Friday for 36 hours and now mm-hmm. I'm kind of back to that, except I just did this colon cleanse. So, you know, it's like proactive stuff that yeah. builds on each other um, is a really, is a really good plan. And that's the beauty of it. Most of this stuff is free. I mean, we we are given the most amazing excretory organs to deal with this. Of course, they're overwhelmed if you don't allow them to. But once you just do that a fast, right, that resets yeah. things. You're not putting totally. things in so you can get them out. You could totally. go outside and sweat, right? You could run in nature and that's a sweating, you know, and just being in the UV rays. That's even, and then your mind, people forget about that because they think about body only. But that mental aspect of it, the meditation, the getting things out on paper, almost detoxing negative thoughts and staying away from the fear porn of Vinyam News and what everyone sells you these days. So it's really, really important. 